I'm nervous and excited because we are not professional gardeners, but we're gonna learn. Our first plant is in our garden! Where is it? <laughs> Good morning, today is the day. The plan is to put our strawberry plants in the ground and put a lot of our seeds in the ground. I'm nervous and excited because we are not professional gardeners, but we're gonna learn. And here's my gardening builder. That's looking good. No idea if they're actually gonna, <laughs> well, it's obviously not square. Oh, yep, yeah, that's a little off. But yeah. It's all right. They save money. It well, doesn't have to be completely pretty. I'm excited. It's looking good. Last night I finished my little map of the garden of how we're going to put different things and where we're putting them and everything. So first thing, I want to stake off where we're actually, where our rows are going to be because it all just looks the same right now. And I was thinking if I put seeds in, I don't know if we're going to actually be able to tell. So I'm going to try to rope off our areas of where the plants are so we're not trampling on them, hopefully. The kids are gathering sticks so we can no. put them up, use those as our stakes to and I got that one. tie the ribbon off. This is taller than That one can probably be broken in half if you can. But, Oh, look at there, easy. Do you yes. have 60 yet? Yeah. You did, did you count? Toby's bringing some more. Um, yeah, you like all the sticks? <gasps> it works. I did, I did, I was like, I, I tried the measuring technical thing, and I'm like, it's gonna be too complicated, I'm just gonna put it up and hope, it, hope for the best. It looks like it's like perfectly balanced. Good job. Now we can get into our garden. <laughs> <laughs> have all the rows staked off. I used party ribbon to distinguish where our rows are because that's what we had without having to go to the store. So our garden's having a party. I did um, four foot rows so we can plant more in between and then a little two foot row to just be able to walk right in between. So I think it'll work well. And Tim's getting some more fencing put up doors are done. We've got our first layer going up around this side. This has been a hard project, but it's a good one. Because good work brings what? Good do what? <laughs> we are ready to plant our strawberries. The kids are practicing walking the correct way. Show us, Karis, where can you walk in here? There you go, good job girls. We're practicing where it's okay to walk. Daddy's still putting up fencing. I have never seen a strawberry plant in the beginning stages, so this is kind of cool to see how they're doing. These ones are June bearing plants, and so we're actually not gonna get to enjoy the strawberries this year if we want the plants to be as strong as possible and have the best, um, harvest next year so we are going to delay satisfaction and we're gonna wait until next year to enjoy our strawberries and then they have to go it's got to be buried halfway up the stalk our first plant is in our garden yay this is our first plant in the garden. Where is it? <laughs> There's our first plant in the whole entire garden. Wait, did you plant that? I did. Y'all are not walking in the lines either. That's why you don't walk in these lines because you're not gonna be able to see them. Okay. They're just gonna kind of blend in. That's it right there. Okay. a little optimistic about gardening yesterday. I thought that I could get all the strawberries and all of our vegetables in, 
but I only got our strawberries in. So today we're gonna continue doing our vegetables today. I've got more and more helpers coming to put vegetables in. I think this was the fun part that we were all looking forward to. I can just rake a little row and the kids can drop the seeds in with help from the bigger kids to space them out a little bit. So Hallie, do you know how to do this? Okay, go ahead and drop your seed in. Yeah, we shouldn't step over yep. And then cover it up and then put two of your rods down. So if you look behind you, and there's no ribbon there. So yep, and then so drop another right seed. As excited as we are for the strawberries to come next year, it was a lot more satisfying to plant all the vegetables today and it to go a lot faster. And now we're just watering it and then it's gonna be done for the day. So we are very excited and the strawberries will definitely be worth it. I think it's a good lesson in delayed satisfaction, delayed gratification, because that's one thing that we like have lived our life. You almost got me. <laughs> <laughs> Many years ago, before I got pregnant with Hannah, Tim and I um, started becoming debt-free. We started our debt-free journey, and like the month before I got pregnant with her, we paid off our last bill, and it was or our last debt, and it was just awesome. And we really buckled down as hard as we could. We got rid of everything that we didn't need, like. TV, any any sort of entertainment we did not do. Um, we didn't go out to eat, we didn't go anywhere on trips, we didn't go anywhere like date nights and everything. We're just free dates at home or go to a park or go on a walk somewhere. Um, and so that has kind of been, been a pattern in our life and we still do that. We still make sure we have, we pay for our needs. We don't do a lot of frivolous stuff that takes extra money. I feel like this whole time of like having to buckle down and having to stay home, like as soon as we heard word of that was the smarter way, we were like, okay, let's do it. Because the sooner we do it, the sooner we know we're healthy and the sooner hopefully this whole thing is over if everybody else can do the same thing. And that's kind of these strawberry plants as well is they recommend if we want to have the best strawberries next year, um, then this year, whenever they start to flower, we need to clip off all the flowers. That way the plants can grow bigger and stronger so the next year we can have a better yield. Because if we let them flower and fruit this year, then we'll get a few strawberries, but the plants are gonna work more towards getting the strawberries this year than growing in size and strength and having a better produce the next year. So, and then after that, then we'll be good for every year. So it's just this one year, we're gonna be taking care of them and making sure that we don't get strawberries this year. So next year, it'll be way more worth it. Today is ending with like the best weather ever. It feels amazing outside. And I just love this garden. Like, it has been so much work getting it prepped and ready. We still don't have all the vegetables in there. I do need to quickly start some tomatoes and peppers inside. We are very new to gardening and I don't even know like what amounts, like I don't know how much produce each plant is gonna produce. Um, and I'm pretty sure our carrots might be planted way close together. So I was thinking today, I was like, man, I can't wait. Like, like our days have been so off because we've been spending so much time out here getting the garden ready. And then I was like, and then I'm gonna have a break. And then I thought, oh, but then things are gonna be growing. <laughs> We're gonna have to be harvesting and taking care of stuff and everything, so. Probably not gonna have as much free time as I was thinking, but I'm excited and I hope we can get back onto a regular schedule because it is late. It's about bedtime already for the kids, but I haven't been wearing a watch and the daylight is totally throwing me off. And I'm part of me is hoping to get back on schedule with all the kids. I think we could all really benefit from that. Um, but part of me is like, but it's so beautiful and nice outside. Like I just wanna be outside still but attitudes will definitely go bad if we don't start back on schedule soon. Um, 
But yeah, so I'm just, I'm excited and I hope the kids really still enjoy working hard in the garden as everything starts growing and I'm really curious to see how much we get from this thing. So now that we have two families here especially, I'm like, this better produce a lot for us. Um, I'd rather overproduce than underproduce, but we'll see. And I don't even know like how much we're gonna get of what. So it's all a mystery to me and I'm really excited to see what happens. I do have a lot of other plants that I'm wanting to do, like our um, peppers and pumpkins and squash and everything. I'm not even planning on putting back in our garden. Um, that stuff, I'm gonna find a different area to do. I was kind of thinking about putting them in our flower gardens because the ground is ready for them. This place over here I was thinking would be like perfect because I've already weeded most of it. We just have a couple there that I should pull right now. Um, but there's not a lot growing in here. And so I was just thinking this would be a great place to plant more produce. But Tim thought it would be good to um, make it stay pretty. <laughs> I'm all about functionality, not as much about the beauty part of it. Um, but I think we could, I think we could keep it looking nice. He really likes to have a nice looking yard and everything because he sees it probably more than any of us as he walks back and forth between the house and his workspace. I also have a lot of learning of like how to take care of all the plants and everything that was already here. Um, like this thing was gorgeous during the summer so I'm excited to see when it starts budding again and but that was like late summer where I think it had its most potential. It loves the heat so I'm excited to see things growing again and learn how to take it all I'm take care of it all because I'm part of me is like oh I might be in over my head and the other part of me is like well but when else are we gonna learn like start now and then as our kids continue to grow and get bigger then maybe we'll have a second garden by then when we know how to do all of this mm -hmm.